Hello everyone, here is another video of my arcade series. Today's video will focus on Sega Naomi networking and the purpose of this video will to show you how easily you can set up your Sega Naomi to network with a computer inside your office or home if you have it there. Here I just got a screenshot on my desktop basically of just a arcade cabinet, how, how they used to look inside of Japan and some of them still look like this and um, basically what I want to show you here is the net dim on the Sega Naomi 2 this is the exact same setup I have inside of my Astro City which we'll get to later so basically what net working with the Sega Naomi allows you to do is to push a game from your computer across the network to your arcade unit without getting up and switching the game Basically, this little component right here is a DIMM that holds RAM, and that RAM basically stores the game. Now, just like any other normal computer, when you turn off RAM on your computer, uh, it clears out. But the net DIMM there has a battery pack that will allow you to store that game in there as long as the battery pack is fully stored. Now, I already have games on my system that I have converted from my GD-ROM and from my cart system on my computer and I have managed and batch files and I actually got a little front end that I modified a little bit to um, allow me to push those game over easier easy without even opening up a batch file so let's just start off and clear up the air um, I own all my games you know you guys have seen my collection like before I got quite a few cards, GD-ROMs you know support the arcades, buy your games and everything after like that but this little ability right here allows you to play your games on your system right there without getting up and switching them that often. So it's a quite a, a, a nifty little thing to have so you don't have to switch out your cards, change out your security dongles for your GD-ROMs. Right now I just got a um, Virtual Fighter Final Tune is what's in there right now. But we're going to show you how to switch that out and I'm not even going to leave out of my seat here. So that's just on my Astro City there. Alright, so I'm going to bring up my little front end here on my computer. So here's my front end. Like I said, I modified this one on the way up here. And I have um, just some of the games I own right here and loaded in the front end with some screenshots. So I can just get to them at ease, you know. Some of them I loaded, you know, like... Um, with vertical, so I know if I need to take the moniker. Uh, virtual, still final tune, still going there. So I'll know if I need to take the monitor before I load up the game. So just some of the games there in my collection right here. Of course, you may have your own. So like right now, here are some games. Let's just say I want to play Capcom vs SNK. Just execute it. And it's just a batch file that's controlling right here. Did you notice when I set the command, it immediately went to the Naomi. Um, there's the network cable down there. But basically, the Naomi is now going to receive that command and it's going to start processing the game that I just sent to it across the network. So it's loading the data, and there are the data files right there. So Speed is basically how much troop throughput in your network can upload from your computer to your arcade system. So that's pretty pretty standard network and stuff. This is all was set up by Sega themselves. They made this system so that arcade unit owners over in Japan, maybe they had a, unit, a person who came in who wanted to play an obscure game, and they didn't want to go ahead and switch out a cart. Um, so basically, now let me just got that, that that command there, and it's about to check the RAM there and make sure everything boots correctly. But anyway, so those arcade owners, you know, they would say, hey, well, only a few people are going to play this game. It's no need for me to go get up, switch out a cart, then come back. These guys leave, and I have to do this whole thing again. So this system really streamlines the whole process. They can push this game over while they're sitting in their chair, you know, in arcade, um, load up the game, 
customers play it you know that works out well customers get out and leave hey those customers are going let's switch it back to a more popular game where I know I can increase my um, cash flow and I can keep the productivity going without you know wasting a lot of time of getting up switching games so I pushed over um, Capcom vs SNK as you saw it loaded that game um, it's, it's booting up right now and a few seconds there there's your screen right there, your standard Capcom screen right there, and that's loaded. So, this game is fully ready to go, and I can let it play, whatever I want, or if I could get bored, whatever, you know, and if I need it to, I can bring back up my front end and simply go to another game. So, that's basically Sega Networking. Um, real simple to do. And like I said, I'm not going to be taking any kind of requests. So, you know, how do you do this? How do you do that? Use, it's just basic networking, all by tools provided by Sega. Um, I own all my games, so I didn't have to download anything. So I'm not, you know, telling you guys to go out and look for games or anything like that. You know, if you have your network already set up, use the games you want. You can use Google to find out how to convert games. There's pretty knowledge already out there. And, um... Just shedding some light on how to network your games because a lot of people seem to forget that Sega was light here, light years ahead of what Sony and Microsoft are just trying to do. Um, the stuff that they had going on in the early 90s was already set up for downloadable games, you know, in the arcades in Japan. So the stuff that they're trying to get out right now, we've already seen that, had it, and experienced it, and Sega's just over the years is progressing and pushing it to another level so there you go I'm about to play me some um, I think I put in some Guilty Gear there so if you guys have any comments I may leave comments on but if I see people trying to ask me you know how to do stuff or where to get games I'm going to disable comments because that's not what it's about I was just showing you guys how easy it is to network your Sega Naomi with a arcade unit that you already own and you already own the games Next video will be on the newest Neo Geo game, Fast Striker, for the Neo Geo. And of course, the Neo Geo is the longest running home console or arcade system that is in existence that's still making games. So that'll be the next review. Um, see you guys later. Peace.